What's going on, everybody? Welcome to G Myers World. And what we're going to be doing today, first of all, I'm going to be wishing everybody a Merry Christmas if that's something that you enjoy. Um, for anybody else that's celebrating any other holidays, I just like to say happy holidays to make sure everybody feels uh, welcome to this channel from all you know ethnicities, nationalities, whatever country you are, you are welcome here. That's why it is G Myers World. Now, if you guys have never played against Santa in Madden, um, he, this has been going on for a while. I'm very, very happy that they brought it back, and they did bring it back with the Elves. He does have a 99 overall team, um, and he's ready for action, bro. Now, the biggest thing about the whole thing, before I get into some of the things I'm going to reminisce about with Santa Claus growing up, you know, being a kid, regardless of the type of atmosphere that you grow up in, there's always some kind of weird uh, stories that people tell you about Santa, but we'll get to that in a second. What, I'm really, what I really want you guys to push for, anybody that watches this video, is to ask EA Sports... Why wouldn't they release elves and Santa Claus for us to be able to buy them and play with them or whatever like that? Even if, even if it's for a limited time, just to be able to utilize them in the game because it's Ultimate Team. For the most part, it's it's a lot of fake things that they've done in the past. Um, I don't know how long you guys have been playing Ultimate Team, but we had Deion Sanders as Leon Sandcastle. We had a lot of things like that. So it's not that far-fetched that they could start doing things like that and making the game a little bit more fun because they can have it you know, competitive for whatever the competitive players are doing. And then they can have it for the ultimate team for guys that just go out and just want to enjoy the players that are available. So, you know, that being said, that's just something I wanted to put out there. Feel free to tweet them at EA Sports underscore Mutt and see what they have to say about it. Because I think it's about that time that we start taking it to the, you know, to another level. You have the, you, they're in the game, you know, these elves and stuff like that. Sen is in the game. So it's nothing for them to be able to have them in game to be able to utilize and play against other people with. I just think that it's something that they should look forward to doing in the future. Now, let's talk about Santa. Now, a lot of you guys think probably, I don't, why can't he take a knee right here? You see this? Because the mechanics of the game, he's so small, they probably didn't, be, they, he couldn't register that his knee, you know, it's just weird. That's just like really, really weird, bro. Like, why didn't he take a knee though? That was, and he's going to keep doing that throughout the game. But anyway, um, the, the funniest thing about Santa is I can remember being young and people telling me that this fat dude is going to just drop down through my chimney. Now, I don't need to be a rocket scientist, and I'm not saying I was the smartest kid in the world, but that was the part that I just didn't understand. Like, I, I could deal with the reindeers and flying around and stuff like that, because I was, you know, I was into Marvel and all that kind of stuff like that, so I knew ridiculous things happened, you know, Marvel, DC, whatever whatever thing you were into uh, that you watched, whatever, it doesn't matter. Everybody had something, Spider-Man, uh, Superman, you had the Hulk, whatever, whichever side you were on, you had some kind of superhero, so you could imagine that a dude is running around with reindeer and stuff like that, but then you start to think about it. Because you know what's funny about everything that they showed you about Santa? He never really changed his size. He was always an overweight man. You see what I'm saying, bro? So you have to understand, like, how, how exactly is he able to get down the chimney? And that really used to bother me. Like, I'm, I'm really being honest with you guys. Like, I, I was one of those dudes that asked too many questions and people didn't like it. So they automatically was like, yo, you know what? I'm not talking to this guy. You know what? I don't even care no more, bro. Like, yo, this dude needs to just calm down. But I was very, very adamant with my questions, and I was always specific, which is why now I always try to make sure that I'm completely concise with what I try to tell you guys and what I'm explaining. Because if you want to tell me that a dude that weighs 900 pounds is going to slide down my chimney, not break any bricks, and have gifts, I got to ask questions about that. Like, if I don't ask questions about that, I feel stupid, and I don't want to feel stupid. You know what I'm saying? So right here, I wanted to look at this right here, like zoom in on Santa and just make sure. Like, this dude is mad big, bro. He's a big dude. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if he's like, even in the game, he's like 6'5", six, 6'9", six, whatever it is. And you see how tiny the elves are? You, you see what I'm talking about? Like, how can they tell us that a dude this size is able to slide down your chimney? And then they want us to believe that. So, I, I you know, dude got zero chill, so I can understand that. The dude, I, yo, okay, EA Sports, touche. The dude has zero chill. But... I don't really understand that. You know what I'm saying? And then another thing with it, um, he knows when you're sleeping and he knows when you're awake. Look, bro, look, I'm, I'm not about that. Like, listen, if a dude is in the room sleeping with me, I want to know that he's in the room sleeping with me. I don't, see, it's very, very difficult for you to tell a child that type of thing and then wonder why their imagination is wild when they grow up. Because how does he know when we're sleeping and know when we're awake? Does he have that thing from the Batman the Dark Knight with all the sensors from the cell phone? You guys know what I'm talking about? When Morgan Freeman was like, yo, after this I quit because it's just too invasive of privacy. Does he have one of those things on the North Pole? Like, what? It, it's just so many things. And um, I really wanted to share this kind of thing because a lot of people 
it, it's ridiculous because I can talk about the same thing I'm talking about with you right now to my friends that are lawyers, doctors, um, judges, and they laugh about it because nobody really brings it up. But I just want to know. See, they think it's a joke, but I'm really serious about it. Like, I'm not joking. I'm, I really want to know, how do you sell this garbage? Because, listen, just think about it right now. Like, go back go back to the chimney thing, right? When I didn't, I, I don't, did, did I even have a chimney in the hood? Like, I don't even know if I had a chimney in the hood. Like, I'm trying to think about it. All I knew is that whatever boiler we had, it always had to get work done. And it was a dude that was in the hood that just knew how to fix everything. And then he would fix it, but he would fix it just enough so that it would break around the holiday season and we have to pay him again. Like, I don't, look, I don't want to say that he was setting us up the whole time. But now I got my own service. Like, bro, I get professional service done. Like, look, I don't want to deal with this. Like, a lot of the stuff I had to deal with growing up, I don't want to deal with it now. Um, but, yeah, so let's just think about this, right? Let's analyze it together. As you sit with your kids and you enjoy this Christmas day, shout out to everybody that got Madden 18 on Christmas day. You're in for a very, very nice experience. I hope you like Wham! and um, not the band with Boy George. Was it Boy George or George Michael? Um, I hope you like well, Okay, how is Santa recovering that, though? This dude is mad, fat, and agile. So I guess they are saying that he is pretty, um, I guess they're saying that he's pretty um, fat, but also agile, like a like a tiger or something. I, I don't know exactly what's going on right now. But whatever the situation is, it's definitely wild. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's definitely a wild situation that's going on with this whole myth of how is this man, know, how does he know when we're asleep? How does he know when we're awake? How does this man slide down chimneys? Okay, now, now, you might be saying to yourself, hold up, bro. You're saying that you don't believe that he can slide down a chimney without breaking bricks, but you believe that this fat, overweight man is being, like, you know, teleporting and flying through the air with, you know, a reindeer and all kind of sleighs and stuff like that? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to tell you straight up. Look, if I could believe that Superman is going to a booth and that he gets changed that fast, like, bro, that it's the same thing. Like, how is Superman going into that booth like, bro, and coming out in it. You know how long it takes for you to put pants on? Like, it's no way. And then that's like a stretchy pantsuit. So if I could believe that, I could believe that he's driving, you know what I'm saying, he's riding around in the sleigh. I don't care what you guys think. But I do think that Superman could have done that, bro. Like, if he's Superman, he should be able to do that. You see what I'm saying? But then again, it's like, bro, it's not it's the same thing. Because I remember somebody challenged me on that. And I can't remember who it was. But they were like, yo, hold up. What, 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 what kind of um, characters did you like, whatever? I was like, yo, you know, Superman, Incredible Hulk, you know what I'm saying? So they're like, yo, so hold on. You thought that he went into that booth and he got changed that fast. We never talking about all his superpowers with the laser out of his eyes. We just keeping it real. Like, listen, hold on. Wait a minute. What exactly are you saying? Are you saying that this man can get dressed that fast? Because when you get older, you don't talk about, like, the foolishness that, like, the super, like, lifting up buildings and all that stuff. You just talk about specific dumb things that you and your other friends while drinking engage with. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're like... All right, so that's pretty much what you're saying. You're saying that this dude went in and got changed like that. We're not even talking about the fact that he just picked up like five cars and threw them at somebody. We talk about his changing thing, which theoretically, if he was a real fast master changer, he probably would be able to change that fast. But that's neither here nor there. That's not what this is about, all right? We're more concerned with how fast he's changing. You see what I'm saying? So that's how stupid these things get. You know, that's what it comes down to. But at the end of the day, it's just about enjoyment and fun. You know what I'm saying? Enjoying life, having fun um, on Christmas Day, whichever, whatever, like I said, whatever holiday you want to treat it as, enjoying the people that care about you because a lot of people don't. And that's pretty much what it's about. You know what I'm saying? But getting back to the whole Madden um, situation, I just wanted to share that story with you. You guys are probably like, yo, this guy's a complete psycho. Or you're probably like, yo, I've thought about that before. And, uh, you know, you're like, oh, yeah, so he, he's pretty, yeah, yeah, he's, he's human, this guy. Um, the whole, of, what, why, why does this guy keep fumbling? The whole objective and the reasoning behind why I want to see more fictional things in Mutt is because I think that that's the way that they're going to have to go because what's happening is they're, they're reusing the same players and people already know what's going on. You see what I'm saying? So it, like the authenticity and the originality is being lost because we're expecting the same players. I think that with what they've been able to do, either they could create their own players that you know they could put in the game or they can get some sort of a license to be able to utilize other things with other games because I just think that it's time to not make us expect it. For instance, a lot of you guys are still waiting for Ghost of Christmas Past, Ghost of Christmas Present. How do you got, why do you guys think that that's coming every year? It's very, very simple. We've been getting the same things over and over every year. So, um, you know, as far as this, we've been seeing these elves, we've been seeing a lot of um, different things that's coming to the game. 
uh, big players, little players, the Halloween stuff most feared. It, it's sort of like a time where it's like, all right, let's start changing it up a little bit. Let's start doing a little bit of, um, you know, more creativity with it because I'm pretty sure that with the guys that they have, it's just a matter of changing a face on a player and making them look different. It's not like they're doing that much. You know what I'm saying? Like once the whole format and everything is there for it, it's, it's done. You, you guys already know uh, the graphical parts about it is pretty much done already. There's nothing else that'll be happening with it. So um, I would like to see if they could put, you know, more fictional characters in it because pretty much if you got a, a quick uh, Talib that's running around and he's just doing uh, whatever he... Why does that guy look like he was running on, like being held up by strings? Did you just see that? Like Talib runs around with Mike Vick. He runs around with... Um, you know, the new Calvin Johnson, step for step, that's already fake. So you might as well make a character that meets the attributes and just have it as the same body as him. Or make a superhero version of the cards. Because it doesn't make any sense that this guy, if you're, if, how is he running step for step with Randy Moss when he was 99 speed and Talib didn't get an upgraded card? He was still just, like, dudes had a man to man. He just running with him, bro. So if that's what they're going to do, it would make sense for them to start to change up a little bit you know what i'm saying give us a better um give us a better uh understanding of what they're doing by letting us use different players because otherwise it just becomes more and more ridiculous and it's unacceptable so they could actually change a lot of the stuff that we've been able to see like oh yeah that whole time that was Talib, that was like speedy gonzalez or something like that you see what i'm saying like they could change like because if you look at the arcade mode the arcade mode is pretty much um what is this the arcade mode is Madden 17 and Madden 16. That's what this is. And then they made an attempt to get away from what it was by giving us competitive mode. But they leaked arcade mode into it. So what happens is it's the same game in all three modes. Simulation, in my opinion, a lot of people don't like it, but it's probably the most realistic. And let me explain to you why. If you burn someone deep with simulation mode, you actually burn them deep. Like you... If you get a step on them, you actually you, you actually have a step. They're not all over you, running up and down, doing crazy things. It's very, very simple. You know what I'm saying? Um, you, you have to make sure and understand that when you're talking about Madden, Madden is a situation where amazing happens. You know what I'm saying? Like anything goes. From what we've learned over the last three years, whoever is doing whatever they're doing, I have no idea what's happening. So... We have to figure out together how we can make it better and not keep getting the same exact things because we have to be honest with each other. We got to be able to say, look, you know what? It's starting to get boring. We need other players or other type of things because if we get too used to everything being the same, like we all expected to get Calvin Johnson at free safety, we got Calvin Johnson at free safety. Yeah, we were raging about it, but we didn't have to get it. You know, they could have gave us something else that was probably like more ridiculous or something that we would more enjoy, but they chose to give us something that they already you know, had done. And don't make it seem like they're, they're listening to everything that we say, because they're not. So they could become more creative. They could uh, become more um, in depth with the actual mode and take over and further enlighten a lot of the new people that are coming into the game mode. Um, for instance, a lot of people that probably haven't even played Madden and just got it for Christmas may click on this video and be like, yo, it's cool. Santa and the elves are in the game. Uh, it would be more cool if they could say, oh yeah, I can play as Santa or the elves. You see what I'm saying? So that's just an idea, food for thought. Um, for the most part, I am going to be get going to be getting Calvin Johnson. I did already get him at free safety. If you guys missed that video, I was able to get him while his price was really low. His price still right now is low, and he is going to be in packs until uh, I believe December 26, 2017. So you still have a chance to get him if you can't pull him if you haven't bought any packs yet. Um, but for for his statistics, he is very very glitchy. Um, people are saying that he probably will be nerfed. I don't know if that's going to happen with it because once he becomes limited, the people that have the most of them, they're going to probably sell them off and it's going to be limited. And the guys that are utilizing them right now um, are probably going to keep them because I used them a little bit um, last night. He's, he's pretty good. He, he's a pretty good card all around. So, yeah, it happens every year. Something like that happens. You just got to be able to be around the area. Uh, when EA is doing whatever they want, and that's what happened. We were able to get Calvin Johnson Limited Edition for very, very cheap. So all in all, I want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas. Thank you guys so much for taking the time out to listen to my stories with uh, Santa. And I'm going to see you guys and girls next time. Subscribe, share, G-Miles will. One love.